Uh, hey Merle, uh, Gamma told me that you wanted to talk to me about something. I I is everything okay? Is there something wrong with the spiral? Ah, young wizard. No, no, nothing's wrong with the spiral. No, no, no. See, we we're actually working on a new bundle. And we wanted some input on the make cast we're gonna put on the wand. Wow, I'm actually really glad you asked me, because... Honestly, I think there's a lot of- there's a lot of- Caroline- get, Caroline, get out of here! There's been a lot of broken Maycast recently, so, um, yeah, I- I think you should get my input. You know, what were you thinking? Ah, so yeah, see, we were thinking we will make a wand, right? Wait for it. I'm waiting. It'll Maycast, and if it does Maycast, it either kills you, or it kills your opponent. That- that's gotta be the stupidest thing I have ever heard. It- in my life, in my life. All right, you're right, you're right, wizard. Uh, thank you, finally. We'll just have the Maycast just kill your opponent and it'll have like a 50% chance. Burl, what are you doing? Maycasts, you either hate them or you love them, but chances are you probably hate them because they've cost you so much rank in PvP. Now, I've actually had a problem with Maycasts for a really, really long time, so I wanted to do research into like what I thought the five most broken Maycasts were. So what I did was I went through Wizard 101 Central, looked up Maycast wands, and looked through every single Maycast in the game, and some of the Maycasts that I found were crazy to me. These were spells I literally didn't even know existed. I've been playing this game for 10 years. So without further ado, here's my list of what I think the five most broken Maycasts are. In my humble opinion, what Wizard 101 should really try to do is make Maycasts not be like this. And that's one of the main purposes of this list. So without further ado, my man, let's get right into it. These are what I think are some of the worst decisions in terms of Maycasts that King's Isle has literally ever made, my mans. Now, number five is low on the list, not because it's not broken, but because it can literally only be used in PvP. It's this thing called Arcane Deduction. I'll put it up right now. Bop! This is one of the stupidest ideas, in my opinion, that could ever have, because literally what it does is it gives you a chance to know exactly what your opponent is going to be doing for the next three rounds. I didn't even know this spell existed until very recently, but basically what it does is just hand the match over, whether you're first or second, because if you know someone's hand for the next three rounds, chances are you actually know what they're going to do. I don't really know the mechanics of the spell, I'm not, maybe, maybe it was just like not well thought out or something, but the fact that you can just spy on your target for three rounds, I mean, maybe it takes a little bit of skill to guess what they're gonna do, but in my opinion, anyone who's just halfway decent at PvP will know exactly what's coming to them, and especially if you're second and you get this May casted onto you, that's kind of broken, because you can literally dispel if you know they're gonna do a big spell, you can literally triage if you know that they're gonna burning rampage even if you're first or something. Now, I'm not saying that this is necessary necessarily the most broken Maycast. There's a reason why it's number five, but it's definitely, it, it raises a lot of questions as to why it's even there. A lot of these wands are paid to win because Maycasts are almost always on Crown's wands. A lot of these are just on bundles. I don't think it's fair that for $40, you can suddenly have a chance to see what your opponent is doing, and they can't really do that without paying $40 themselves. For that reason, I think this is definitely one of the most problematic spells that are Maycasts, but... Stick with me, my mans. They get worse and worse. Now, the next one is actually a double Maycast, but it's basically on a wand that gives two Maycasts. It is from the Fantastic Voyage bundle, and without further ado, my mans, Abab! As you guys can see, the Abyssal Eel Whip, or Abyssal Eel Whip, I don't know English, don't worry about it. But basically what it does, if all, the, basically if you use a Storm Wand, it, it has a chance of casting a Wild Bolt every time, and if you use an Ice Wand, it, it has a chance of causing a Healing Curt every time. Now, obviously, if it hits the low end of either of these spells, it's not really gonna change the game. However, let's say you have anywhere close to, like, decent healing boost, or if you're a Storm, and you have anywhere close to a decent amount of damage, this is completely going to give the game to whoever gets it. A max healing current that's random, in my opinion, is really dumb. I don't even think the Maycast healing current on a pet should be a thing. But Maycast Wild Bolt is absolutely crazy. It makes no sense why you should even have a chance of doing a thousand damage. And again, it's from the Fantastic Voyage Gauntlet. So again, you're paying $40 to essentially win your PvP matches because you happen to want it. You basically break whatever shield they have. And then, boom, there's a Wild Bolt just slaps you with a thousand damage. And that's all for zero. 
zero pips. There's no reason why any May Cash should do a thousand damage. I definitely think the reason why this wand is more broken than any other wand that gives one of those thousand d damage May Cash is because it can also heal you. I don't understand why you should have literally both offensive and defensive May Casts on a wand. I, I don't think May Cash should be that broken. I, I, I don't have a problem with them maybe stepping it down a little bit, like a May Cast, I don't know, Sprite may cast minor blessing and it could be a small hit you know like it could be like a may cast lightning bats you know that could still do a lot but it doesn't have to break the entire game you know what i'm saying dude so this one i have a lot of problems with it but without further ado let's get to the juiciness and let's get on to number three my man it's crazy bro we gotta get to spells that don't even exist in the actual game oh my god now the next one gets gets into some dicey territory I've already made a video on this. This is definitely just, it shouldn't, it shouldn't even belong on a wand. This is from the Poison Apple wand that came out in the most recent bundle. It's definitely, I, I don't understand why it's a thing at all. It's called the Sleeping Toxin. And basically what it does, I mean, I don't even have to explain it. Bow! As you guys can see, it's an overtime and a stun. That's ridiculous. There shouldn't be so much utility in a May cast at all. I know for a fact anybody who gets hit with this wand early on, who just happens to shield instead of stun block early on, if they get hit with this, that's going to completely change the tempo. Especially with shadow pips the way they are, losing any one turn because of chance is really dumb. Now, here's the thing. I think stuns are great. I think stuns can be very strategic. I just don't think they belong on a May cast. I don't think there should be anything that can May cast hit and stun, especially because if you start getting multiple ones of these in a game that lasts a long time, you can start breaking stun shields and suddenly you have all these possibilities open to you, even though the player you're going against already had the brains to actually put up a stun block. Not to mention, because it's a wand hit, you can literally have like three shields and have a wand, right? Basically get rid of all of that. You have zero pips, you get rid of the first shield with the wand, you get rid of another shield with the first hit, and then you keep on getting rid of them with the overtime. Not to mention they're stunned, right? So they can't keep shielding. It basically completely opens you up to any hit and it starts a great combo that you really didn't deserve because all you did was use a wand hit. Once again, if you guys have started to notice a pattern here, this is another bundle wand. I don't understand why all these bundle wands give crazy May casts because they break PvP. Maybe make them no PvP, but I feel like less people will buy them. But this is definitely... I made a whole video on this. This is definitely one of the most problematic May casts in the game right now. I don't understand why it's so broken. King Sile Fix, what are you doing? Y'all, I didn't even know this spell existed. You literally pay $40 for a bundle. You get this spell. And if you get this spell, I can guarantee to you, if you get this May cast, you will win the match. That is how broken this is. And I didn't even know this spell existed. It's a spell called Impede. Bow. Basically, if you get the May cast on this specific wand, right? It's from the Battle Mage bundle. I'm not surprised at all that it's a bundle at this point. If you get this May cast, what it basically does is put an aura on your opponents. And what that does is it literally prevents them from gaining pips for the next four rounds. Now, here's why it's a huge, huge problem. If any balance wizard had this wand and that happened, not only are you forced to use an aura to try to change it because you need to get pips. If you, if, let's say you get caught with this aura on when you don't have any pips, you literally cannot do anything for four rounds. That is completely awful. Like, you, you won't be winning the game. You know what I'm saying? If you're going against a balance and you have to change the aura in order to do it, every time you get the May cast, the balance can just supernova and rinse and repeat. I don't know what the May cast rate on this is. I've never seen it in PvP. Thank God I've never seen it. It's probably because a wand isn't that great, but I just don't understand because it literally opens a door for someone to buy this bundle who's not great at PvP, who doesn't really care about stats, and literally they just chance their way to the dub. I've never... I've never been aware of the spell outside of boss cheats. I don't understand why a boss cheat is put on a battle mage wand at all. It makes no sense to me. I don't know if you guys have seen this in PP. Let me know if you've had any experiences with the spell, but definitely just because literally one cast and it gives you the entire game, just because of that, I definitely think this is one of the most broken wands and it is only eclipsed by number one on the list. Let's get right into it, my man. Now, spells are really good when they achieve more than one thing at a time. The reason why this spell is absolute trash is because not only do you want it, break weaknesses and shields off, you also get an additional thing, and this is basically the spell Outlaw's Courtesy. Bah! Outlaw's Courtesy 
is the most unnecessary May cast in this game. You can't even debate me on this. Now, after you're done watching the video, let me know in the comments what you think the worst May cast is and what your worst May cast experience was in PvP or maybe even PvE. I don't know. Well, let's share some May cast stories in the chat. But, like, this is ridiculous because literally what it does, not only, not only does the enemy lose three pips, but the, the, the person who the May cast is for gains three pips. That is a net six pip difference. Not to mention, if you have power pips, it's even more. There is no other spell in the game that can so uniquely give you the dub off of using zero pips other than Outlaw's Courtesy. Once again, it is on a bundle wand. I don't see why. I, it might be in a pack. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's a bundle. I don't, not only, by the way, is this a very, very good May cast, it also comes with really good stats. The one, the 120 version of this wand gives 65 crit, 14 damage, 4 peers, and 210 pip convert. These aren't bad stats. Not only it gives a square slot too. Not, these aren't bad stats. You could easily, if you don't care about crit, you could easily rock this and absolutely wreck someone. There's no trade-off for this, and it's completely pay to win. I've had very negative experiences with this spell. Not once have I ever won a match where someone has gotten this May cast, no matter if I was first, if I was second. Such a game-breaking spell doesn't belong on a May cast, and it definitely does not belong on a wand that you can only get by spending your real money. As always, guys, these are just my my opinions obviously any of these top five videos you you know someone else could have a different top five so all of these videos really work great when you let me know what your experiences have been and what your list is so let me know what you think the worst main casts are i definitely didn't even touch on any of the professors horde pack ones and those all have crazy May casts. And I definitely know that some of them are like spells that I, don't, I still am not really aware of existing. So, I mean, there's a lot of things, I'm sure, where your lists might differ. Yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you drop a sub if you're new. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I love making these videos because I feel like they really do help like start conversations in the comments. And also, they help the game know where they could do better or where they've done great. You know what I'm saying, dude? It's lit out here for our body. Bad. As usual, there's tons of links in the description. There's also a join button under the video if you want to support the channel monthly in a very, very amazing, incredible way. But yeah, man, check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Discord. All of that stuff will be in the description. Thank you so much for everyone who's been so involved in the community. I couldn't do it without you guys, so I really appreciate it. If somebody hasn't told you you're awesome today, my bads, they doing something wrong. So stay awesome, brother. And yeah, yeah.